What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Loverfella and today I'm going to show you guys how we managed to collect all this metal in about 5 minutes. This is a trick I've never seen, I played the game for about 300 hours so I have a lot of time. All you're going to need is an Ankylosaurus, Paracetium, and maybe a friend. You can do this alone though if you want. What you're going to want to do is build a structure like we've built on top of the back of this Paracetium. All you need is some foundations on the back and frankly all you really need is one foundation right here. And then you're gonna, or two, sorry. You're gonna build your ramp straight down like this, all the way to the ground so that an Ankylosaurus can walk up the ramp. Then you're gonna leave a little square right here that's kind of open to the ground. And this is basically, think of it like where the rocks will slide into and your Ankylosaurus will swing. So it's a pretty simple concept and it's very effective. One person, the driver, is going to steer your Paracetium. I recommend getting a lot of movement speed so you can just whip around real quick. He'll walk up. And the other person will just stand down here on your Ankylosaur and just do this. And just smash and smash and smash. And he just keeps getting metal. Now what a lot of you may not know is that this Ankylosaurus's weight does not count towards the Paracetium's weight. What this means is the Ankylosaurus can be holding 20,000 metal, but this guy can still walk around with him sitting on the ramp. It's a glitch in the game, and ARC devs haven't figured out how to fix this glitch in nearly a year now, so I don't think it's going to be fixed anytime soon. So if you're playing, and you have a friend that can drive this around, you can just sit here and click repeatedly, you can practically AFK Metal Farm. And in my opinion, if you're not doing this method already right now, then you're wasting your time. Like if you're over there using one of these bad boys, smashing it away, or you're taking an Ankylo on trips back and forth, that is complete waste of time. If you think of this game in terms of how much success you have, in terms of how much time you put into it, Say you start at the same time as someone else, but that person gets an entire metal base in the time you have a base that looks like this one. Well, that person that has an entire metal base is going to be more successful in playing. And it's kind of all about how you spend your time. No one likes to grind. No one likes to get out of their way and spend hours upon hours upon hours of just collecting materials. But people do like building. People like raiding. People like PvP. Stuff like that. And so if you're not getting to do enough of that because you feel like you're grinding too much, even on low rate servers, you got to be a little creative in how you collect materials. So I did not know about this method. I know I know a lot of you probably do know about it. But this, in my opinion, is by far the greatest way to get metal in Scorched Earth. But there's more. After your Ankylosaurus is full, it can be a pain to unload your Ankylosaurus. Well, we've designed something that kind of helps us unload the Ankylosaurus. In fact, we have two designs. Oops. You gotta be careful about him falling off on rocks. Every now and then your Ankylosaurus will fall off on a rock. And all you really have to do is get on your Paracetium. If it doesn't work as planned, just hop on the Ankylosaurus and smash the rock. Then you should be good to go. Now that we have an Ankylosaurus with an extremely large amount of metal, so much that he couldn't walk unless we unloaded it all, we can walk over to this door. What we used to do is use this little thatch wall right here to kind of scrape him off the, the platform. Once we scraped him off, he would fall down to the ground right in front of this door, which we would open and then just unload him straight into our chest. But that's kind of difficult. No one really wants to scrape him off. So what I discovered is that even if his weight is too full to move, you're still capable of whipping the animal, and you can make it move. So even if he has 10 million weight on him, if you whip the animal, he's still going to run off. So all you have to do is whip it into position, and then you can just stand here, press F, take the rocks, press F, unload the rocks. It's pretty easy. Now you might collect some things you don't want, like berries. Go ahead, just type berries up here, drop all items, all your berries are gone. Maybe you want to get rid of the seed, same thing here. And then if you want to take your metal, well, I guess we don't have any, but let's say we want flint, you can just type it in, click take all. And so you can kind of like filter it out, because if you do this method for a while, you're going to end up having a scroll page that takes like 10 minutes to get all the way through. Which is how we get so much metal so quick. Then you can come here and transfer it in by pressing T. But this is basically kind of like the workflow on how you want to get metal. It's a very important to use the whip to move them into place. Don't, don't use this little design we have up here, it's kind of inefficient. The whip will just put them right there. Once we're done with that, Say we want to unload him over here, we want to get the metal inside of our industrial forge. You whip him over, might take a few hits because Ankylosaurus is a little stupid, but eventually he will get to a position where you can open the door, maybe we'll even use the front door, we did add a lot of doors for this very reason. Maybe one more whip will do it. Now we can stand up here, unload the Ankylosaurus, and then put it straight into our industrial forge. So it's super, super quick. And this is especially good on servers where they're brand new, freshly started out. You see those bases that are solid metal, and you're like, how the heck did they do that so quick? Well, this is probably the method they're going to use on Scorched Earth. There might be other methods, but with the lack of a Quetzal, you can't really do this with a Quetzal. So you have to get a Paracetium and just max its movement speed out. We have 202 movement speed on this guy. He's super fast, and you'll get over there to the metal in no time. 
just take 15 minutes out of your day, go metal collecting, and your guys are going to be fine. Hope you like watching this tutorial. If you're interested in watching any of my other tutorials, don't hesitate to click on them. I have quite a few. I think this is episode 15 now. They're pretty decent, if you ask me. In fact, my mom even said once that I made a quality video, so take her word for it. They're pretty decent. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one, and I love you all.